Okay, so finally completed the uh, TV stand of awesomeness. <laughs> um, we're still in the cleanup stages and everything, but uh, finally got it. Finally got it together. Uh, let's see. The first thing I needed to the fans that's in the back. I had to offset them just a little bit so the door would shut. You can see there. Um, I didn't try it with without. Well, actually, this one. This goes in a, a little bit further because it it's recessed. But you might be able to see on the other side. Yeah, just how close that is. So uh, basically, I made I needed to make a, a little spacer in the back so that the the drawer would sh Let's see. See the little spacer there. And it's only like three quarters of an inch or whatever, so I had two of them. Uh, the other thing um, didn't work out as planned was I wanted the receiver in this middle one because it's going to be on most of the time. And uh, I figured it would generate a lot of heat. That's why I got two of those fans. But anyways, I could have got away with just getting one. Uh, but here's the... Here's how this works. This is the DVD player. And I have a, a two by eight out in the front yard actually drying from paint. But all right, here we go. Here's the other one that I made. Still a little bit tacky, but not too bad. I'll let that finish out. Yeah, I just got the router on that, and that was a two by eight. But that should, that should stick it up just uh, just enough so the cords can feed over the back. Uh, worst case scenario, I could put little feet on the on the on the side. So, but what I needed to do was was kick this up a little bit so the wires could feed back behind that small gap there. But uh, I, I got that out there working now. But here's how we did the, the front. Got the little hinges. You can tell. And then this folds up. And that helps kind of lock it in place. Keep it, keep it aligned and all that. But uh, there's that. Here's the Xbox. Kind of the same thing. Um... We got the temperature deal up there, and I can still sneak back behind here and manually turn on the, the fans. And the fans are on full blast. And it does, does a pretty good job, babe. They kicked on a couple times and then ran for only about five minutes or so maybe not even that and then of course turned itself off so let me uh turn that back off to where it manually does that uh one thing i do want to get is the little some little nubs so whenever that is down and it's up against this it's not gonna whenever it's this is down like this Whenever that goes back, it'll be on those little nubs, so it's not going to mess the paint up or nothing. But, but yeah, and so this gives you a lot of room for um, Xbox games. We'll have some DVDs. Now well, that's for their, what should we call it, their Disney Infinity stuff. Controllers, um, and then this over here will still be empty. So if we have another device we want to stick in there, we can do that. But uh, we'll also have all the movies we want, and probably some more. And then the two bottom one are are empty. But yeah, there you go. Um, since we had to put this, the receiver up, 
I had to make this stand here. Um, and I made the stand. It's uh, two feet wide by 11 inches deep. It's, it's a two by 12. And we just, I just round it over the top. And there's three of them. And I just glued and screwed everything together. And painted it black. Seems to work pretty good. The speakers will fit right underneath it and all that. And we got the speaker there and speaker there. But, uh, yeah, so now I can watch my YouTube on. So that is my version of the TV stand of awesomeness. Um, Y'all comment, right? I hope this kind of gives you some ideas. Uh, like I said, the TV stands that we were looking at, they were just too small. They didn't have enough uh, enough room for anything that we were looking at. But uh, I wish the light was better in here, but that's one bad thing about this house is it has sucky lighting. So, all right. Y'all comment, right? Thanks for watching. See ya.